Do you want to ride in Montana? Do you want to ride with me? Stick around. <laughs> beautiful people my name is Amanda Zitto if you are new here I make motorcycle travel vlogs how to's and general encouragement for you to get out and do the thing this year 2021 will be the sixth year that I will be organizing and hosting Rocky Mountain Roll on my family's ranch in Corvallis Montana that's crazy an event that really just started as a party when I finished the pilgrimage has snowballed and grown so much more than I ever thought it would. For those who may not be totally familiar with what Rocky Mountain Roll is, it is a bare bones, stripped back co-ed motorcycle camp out on private property. For some reason there are some people who are a little bit confused that it's a women's only event, but I would like to clarify here that it is not. It is, it is co-ed and it is 21 and over. But the whole point of the event is to have a chill weekend in the Bitterroot Valley on a family ranch with just the things that you need, making friends with other people who also rode a long way to get there. We have drinking water, we have porta potties, we have a bag shower, and we have a whole living room and a field full on couches and everything. And there's a redneck pool, which is really just a tarp in the back of a pickup truck, but it's pretty nice when it's hot. <laughs> there's no loud bands to keep you up at night. There's no merch row to try to sell you stuff. And there's no food trucks. It's open to anybody who's bought a ticket. You do need to buy your tickets ahead of time online because we do not sell them at the gate, you can get your tickets at rockymtnroll.com. The field that we camp in is home to our cattle the other 11 months of the year. So we're about as close to grassroots as you can possibly get. Literally, there is a shovel to move cow poo so that you can set up your tent in a clean spot. <laughs> we do split up the field. So there's the one corner that we do all of our hangout in, and then there's another portion of the field that's dedicated just to motorcycle tent campers. But there is a portion of the field that's dedicated to RVs, car campers, van lifers. If you need to tow up with a trailer and your truck, we have a place for you. Do note though, that if you're gonna bring an RV to Rocky Mountain Roll, that we do not have hookups or anything like that, so you need to be self-contained. I hear a lot of people say that this is their excuse to visit Montana for the very first time, so we get people from all over. California, Oregon, Florida, Florida, Florida. <laughs> Pennsylvania, West Virginia, New York. It's just, it's been really cool. <laughs> we put a cap on attendance at 100 tickets, so at no point do you feel like you're in a crowd and everybody gets a chance to know each other. I don't think that we've ever even come close to 100 people at the event though. I think the most we've had is like 74 people and that was the second year. For the most part, we sit about the like 40 to 50 people mark that actually show up. <laughs> In my experience, no matter how many tickets you sell, probably about half of that will actually show up. <laughs> that way, by the time that the event is over, you feel like you've made a bunch of new friends that you look forward to seeing again the next year. And we do have lifers that have come to just about every single event, which is just super cool. I mean, it makes me feel good. It's an event organizer that people want to come back. That's cool. <laughs> And we welcome everyone. Beggars, choppers, cruisers, ADV bikes, dirt bikes, cafe racers. We've had pretty much everything. Sport bikes, everybody is welcome. A question I get asked a lot is if there is pavement on the property, there is not. It's a short maintained dirt road from the main road to our gate and then you're on grass. We are eight miles from town, so gas and food and that kind of stuff is eight miles from the property, so keep that in mind if you have a small tank. It is private property and we are very far from being a cleaned up shiny dude ranch. We do not advertise our address. If you would like to get the address to the event, you do need to purchase a ticket to get the address. We do not sell tickets at the gate, so we ask everybody who does purchase a ticket to keep our address private. This is our home. And so far, everybody has done an amazing job of respecting our home. In the case that my parents don't feel like it is respected, the event cannot continue to happen. So for the sake of everybody, please be nice. <laughs> Thank you. 
Friday afternoon, everybody checks in with my mom at the gate. You get a little bag of goodies and a free map of the Bitter Valley, and then my mom lays down the law. <laughs> Saturday morning, we all go down in the farmer's market together to get some coffee and some snacks, and then you kind of let loose for the rest of the day to do whatever you want. And then Saturday night, we will be doing free pizza again while supplies last. So if you want a slice, you have to be in camp when I go into town to get the pizza. We also do free soda for everybody and that will be in the cooler all weekend. After pizza on Saturday night, we do the raffle so we can get away all the awesome goodies that our sponsors have sent to us. And my mom makes an Afghan for the raffle every single year, which is pretty awesome and has become highly coveted <laughs> every year. The last couple of years, the Montgomery Distillery up in Missoula has welcomed us into their facility and given our attendees tours. Ryan Montgomery is awesome and has supported the event since the beginning. So Sunday, we'll be riding up to Montgomery Distillery in Missoula. It's like tradition now. <laughs> we are excited to have the event be four days again this year, which means you have just a little bit more breathing room and you don't feel so rushed. You can still leave Sunday if you need to, but you don't have to. <laughs> if you're an outdoors lover, there is so much to do in the Bitter Valley. There's lots of beautiful mountain hikes. There's hot springs. There's a lot of awesome forest service roads up into the Rockies and into the Sapphires. We are nestled between two awesome mountain ranges. It has also been awesome to have the continued support from sponsors like Support Badass Babes, the Moto Meetup, Chop Cult this year is sponsoring, which is super cool, Wolfman Luggage, my longtime fam. And then also Al Cycle down in Hamilton, our local motorcycle shop, has supported the event since the very, very beginning. I think they were like the first people to reach out to me and be like, how can we help? My family and I don't really make profit off of this event. Most of the money that comes from tickets and the little money that we do get from sponsors goes directly back into the event for event insurance, porta potties, the pizza, the soda, all of the things that make that event awesome. We do offer an extra avenue if you want to buy more raffle tickets for stuff like my mom's Afghan and that kind of stuff. And the money from those extra raffle tickets and a couple of like the stickers and stuff that we have at the gate for you to purchase goes back into the ranch so that we can keep making this event happen year after year. That explained a little bit more about what Rocky Mountain Roll is and what it means to me. It's really just a big hangout session. It's more about the ride that you take to get to the event than whatever's happening at the event. I will mention that our tickets do cost a lot less than a two night stay at a KOA. Sometimes it's cheaper than one night stay at a KOA. And there's, it's four days, three nights, three, three nights. <laughs> Now I'm just rambling. If you have any questions, you can drop them in the comments. I will try to get back to as many as I possibly can, or you can email me at rockymtnroll at gmail.com. I will also leave a link to the website all about the event with links to where to buy tickets down in the description below. You can go to rockymtnroll.com, make it really easy. <laughs> make sure that you grab your tickets before July 15th because that's when ticket sales end. And if I were you, I would grab them sooner than later because we already sold pretty much half of the tickets that we have available so yeah <laughs> huge shout out to my patrons on patreon you guys make these videos possible you are amazing and also end screen crew question have you been to montana <laughs> see you later guys Mountain Roll is over. It was an awesome weekend. We definitely had a lot more people than I was expecting. I am just internally impressed every single year 
that I run Rocky Mountain Roll with my parents. How awesome everybody is and how respectful they are of our home and just how stoked they are to get to camp in a shitty field. <laughs>